This morning I'm talking to Brett Lacey, the Executive General Manager of Businesses for, uh, from House With No Steps, um, about uh, a little pet peeve of mine, uh, the statement, perception is reality. Um, working with a disability organisation, Brett, it would be extremely difficult to, ha to, um, to handle the perception of, of uh, the general consumer. Um, I understand that um, you believe that a product or a service can involve people with a disability, any product that we come in contact with, without a reduction in quality and without, uh, while still remaining efficient and, um, and price competitive. How do you uh, how do you feel about the the, the perception that uh, your organisation has in the marketplace? I think people would be surprised if they found out. Um, uh, I guess the volume and the depth of uh, products and services that House with No Steps were involved with um, is surprising, uh, and I think you know, very very interesting for people to to understand the types of uh, products and types of services that we are actually either producing or providing and how that uh, can impact the individual almost on a daily basis. And I guess just to provide some examples there, um, uh, we uh, manufacture biscuits. Uh, so people eating a biscuit, um, uh, that could be a house with no steps uh, product. Um, uh, we've got a farm that produces avocados, macadamias and tomatoes. So again, that could be something that, uh, that comes into our contact with them from a supermarket. Uh, likewise, we, we pack a range of fruit as well. So that could be peaches, nectarines, custard apples on behalf of other growers. So again, anybody purchasing that, it could be something that's been packed by House With No Steps. Somebody that's in a hospital um, uh, could also um, uh, be uh, uh, requiring a kit that's been put together by House With No Steps. So whether that's surgical, whether that's maternity, whether that's a dialysis kit. Uh, the police forces uh, in terms of DNA and forensic kits, um, uh, anybody in an ambulance, uh, an ambulance kit. So again, quite extensive. Uh, and then looking at something like the broad range of packaging uh, that we do, um, uh, printing, etc. So anybody that's opening a product from a supermarket, um, uh, there's a possibility that that's a house with many steps packed product. Uh, Travelling up and down a highway or are involved in uh, some of the other uh, major commercial sites, whether that be an airport um, uh, or a shopping centre, uh, that could very well be uh, a site that's maintained uh, by one of our grounds maintenance teams. So uh, it's really uh, exciting looking at that range. Uh, and uh, I guess it keeps going in terms of you know what those options are. Uh, again, a commercial laundry, uh, the linen that uh, people are utilising if they're staying in uh, a, a, an accommodation uh, facility, that could very well be uh, linen that's been laundered uh, by our team and our business, uh, engineering, recycling products, etc. It is uh, quite exciting and obviously it has its um, moments of challenge and interest along the way too, but I think a lot of people would be genuinely uh, surprised um, uh, when they do um, actually sit down and, and work out where a lot of that product or all those services have actually been uh, supplied from. So I think that's a perception that from my perspective uh, really keen to see change and I think that would really um, uh, I guess assist um, uh, I guess the profile for people with disability and employment and raise that understanding but quite significantly really raise that level of appreciation in terms of you know what is possible and what those capabilities are. Yeah, total acceptance rather than... Yeah, yeah. exactly. Thank you very much, Brett. Thanks, Alan.